Just south of Cheyenne stood Fort Russell, famous throughout the West as a bastion of military strength and the home of the rugged, disciplined frontier soldier. What do you make of it, Sergeant? I hate to say it, Colonel, but it sounds like Sioux or Cheyenne war cries to me, sir. An uprising at the fort? Ridiculous. Yes, sir. I can read his life and by the dim and flaring light. His truth is marching on. Those are bugles, sir. Good evening, Colonel. Bandmaster, front and center. You're under arrest. This entire band is under arrest. You're confined to quarters until further notice. Dismissed. Now, who are the idiots who fired those cannons? Sergeant Perkins. Private McIntosh. Private Johnson. Private Williams. You'll report to my quarters tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Yes, sir. Brady. Return carbine. In file, prepare to dismount. Dismount. Madam, Article 12, Section 7, Paragraph 2, Army Regulations specifically states, government property cannot be used for political demonstrations. Sir, we have never designated our movement to be political. Article 9, Section 2, Paragraph 4 of Army Regulations clearly states that civilian meetings may be held at military installations when permission has been granted by the commanding officer. Commanding officer. I see. You'll forgive me, madam. We've been on patrol for six days. I'm somewhat weary. You say Captain Slater gave you permission in my absence? He did. Brady, I want this vest cleaned up immediately. Yes, sir. Ladies, I see you have transport. You'll be escorted back to town. The party will leave in five minutes exactly. Do I assume, madam, you have quarters here this evening? I have. Then you may retire to those quarters, madam, and remake the world on some other occasion. Good evening. Bill. 